Tonight, students are remembering a classmate killed on her way to school yesterday in Volusia County. The fourth grader was riding her bike to Sugar Mill Elementary in Port Orange. According to police, she was in the crosswalk when someone dropping off another student hit and killed her. Right now, Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte is live in Port Orange, where friends and family are gathering to remember this little girl. Steph, this is just absolutely heartbreaking. It is truly, just like you said, so heartbreaking, and it's been really hard on so many people in the community, residents, community members, her classmates, teachers, everyone is just really struggling with this tragic loss right now, and that is why they're asking people to come here to First United Methodist Church in Port Orange in about 30 minutes to just come together and pray. And then after that, at 6 o'clock, they're going to have families and kids come together just to grieve together, heal together, talk together. So this happened yesterday. The little girl, the fourth grader, she was on her way to school. She was riding her bike when she was hit and killed. Police say she was in the crosswalk when she was hit by a driver leaving the school after dropping off another student. Now there is no crossing guard located where that little girl was hit. We spoke with some of the people who gathered last night to place flowers, notes, and text bears along a fence outside of the school right near where she was killed. I just lost the most beautiful, precious daughter of a friend of mine that I know for 40 years. We lost a beautiful child today. I don't even know the little girl. I don't know anything about her, but just knowing that we have our own children and just my heart was breaking, just breaking for both the families because they'll never be the same, never. And I don't know how they're going to get through this. Now, a local restaurant will be here at the event, and they donated food so that families don't have to worry about dinner tonight. They can just come together, grieve, and try to heal after this tragedy. And tonight at 10, we're going to talk more about the crossing guard situation at the school. This is not the first time that a child has been hit at this school by a car, and parents are now calling for more safety at the elementary school. So we're going to dive more into that coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live in Port Orange, Stephanie of Monte Fox, 35 News.